Let's hear a few words from Mr. Peter Sweet. Hello. Um, it is a great honour for me to be accepting this award today. After a long career, initially in academia and subsequently in maritime, I have learned the importance of always trying to achieve the highest standards and to care for others at all times. Working for Shell in oil, gas and offshore shipping around the world, the quality of the design construction and operation of the ships that we owned and chartered was of the utmost importance for our performance, uh, success and reputation. Of course we did not always get it right and so learning the lessons when we got it wrong was equally important. Now the Shell Umbrella provided me with a host of opportunities to learn management and leadership skills and included a noteworthy education in cultural differences and management styles. For example, managing an LNG shipping company in the joint venture Northwest Shelf project with Australian, Japanese, British and American partners. And then later as area coordinator for Shell companies in Eastern and Southern Africa. Having taken an early retirement from Shell after nearly 25 years, I was soon persuaded to take on the role of Chief Executive at Hattin Tatanko in 2000. Now with the Erika oil spill in 1999, the Prestige spill in 2002, my previous Shell involvement, dealing directly with the legislative fallout at the IMO in the US, and within the EU of accidents such as the Amico Cadiz, uh, Exxon Valdez and others proved very valuable. An immediate challenge facing the tank industry at that time was to argue for the maintenance of international regulation of the industry against increasing aspirations within the EU for more regional, national and even local legislation. At the same time the industry was improving its own self-regulation and higher standards led to better performance and of course an improved reputation. Concurrently, Intertanko recognised society's growing concerns for the impact of all shipping across much of the environmental spectrum and we set about championing the adoption of lowering sulphur emissions from shipping which eventually, eventually indeed, got adopted as part of Annex 6 of Marpol. Therefore, after a memorable decade at Intertanker, my second formal retirement came in 2011. Almost immediately, I was invited to chair a voluntary programme to provide humanitarian support to seafarers and their families caught up in the now rapidly escalating scourge of Somali piracy. The Maritime Piracy Humanitarian Response Programme, better known as MPHRP, brought together a coalition of industry associations, governments, NATO, the EU, unions and charities to take up that challenge. Very quickly we were recognised by the UN Contact Group for Piracy off the coast of Somalia for championing and highlighting the humanitarian angle. MPHRP then set about developing and delivering piracy awareness and pre-departure training courses and providing care and counselling for families of hijacked seafarers, as well as a little financial support. While we witnessed some of the most desperate suffering of wives, parents, children, offset by the occasional joy of a reunification, we always felt extreme frustration that we could never ever do enough. By 2016 the worst of the Somali piracy was on the wane and most of the hijacked seafarers had been released and MPHRP agreed a formal transition into ISWAN. 
Others had also initiated their own humanitarian response programs, such as the Sailor Society with their crisis response network and training programs, and others by adapting their helplines and counselling services. Earlier in 2013, I had been invited to join the board of Ardmore Shipping at its IPO launch, and I remained a director of this now widely respected company until my third formal and now final retirement from industry. Now I am mostly retired, but remain quite involved with several charities as chairman of the Sailor Society, representative of RENA, the Naval Architects at the IMO, and a handful of others. Throughout my career, I have benefited from and been extremely grateful for the assistance of many colleagues and from whom I have learned an awful lot, which I wish to acknowledge today. I am therefore very privileged and grateful to receive this recognition and award. Thank you very, very much.